Hey guys, it's Parker here, back at Pokemon Shield Part 13! I think we're on Part 13. So yeah, um, let's head back towards the Winton Stadium. Parker! You know, I just realized Hob is very similar to Howl and Sun and Moon. Their personalities are so similar. This is it. Here I win the stadium, the greatest stadium in all Galar. You're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire! So go get yourself checked in! Yeah. Alright, let's go. Challenger Parker, I've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through semi-finals, then let's face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So, are you ready to go to the locker room now? Yep, uh, straight away. Then I'll show you the way. Oh, everyone's here. I say I ain't to win this thing, and I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone's spike mode to reclaim their pride. I just see a smile once again. Pierce, you're such a bro. I like you. I like to see. This will be a different sort of battle than you face in the gym challenge. Those are basically test matches, but this is a serious battle. My mask. It feels like it's going to fall off. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna win my way through every round, then I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't, then I'll fail to repay Duralu, Duralu Don, and the rest of my team for all their hard work. My first match is against Raihan of all people, but rot and luck. But even if you change the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easy. I don't know, grass against dragon is pretty bad. I'll be putting on a showy battle for the crowd. I'll show everyone what a severe battle truly is. I always pressed on and challenged myself so that I could go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. I like Kava too, and Opal. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I have no idea who I'm gonna face against, so... I don't know. The chat has talked about some business, so I hope no one might be stepping in on his behalf. In order to eat all greater heights of Pokemon Trainers of the Gaur region, time is still for you to battle out until only the great challenger remains. So, on behalf of the chairman, I want me to say, let the final matches begin! Yay! Wait, you! Who's that? Where is Opal? Dang it. This, this douchebag. A um, moment, if I may, does anyone here even remember me? I am Beta. The challenger was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Yeah, because you destroyed the culture monument. Beta, he's the challenger, not the chairman of the south. I have a score to settle with Challenger Parker here. I'm aware this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Dude, you always break every single kind of rule in this championship, so I'm not surprised. Let me battle her. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a traitor. <laughs> yes, please do. What an unexpected turn of events. Former Challenger Beta has come for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with Challenger Beta. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous to me, but I have to say something. Do something. Oh, you're such a brat. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was only on to ask me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but the chairman himself disowned me. And then a strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drives me to a book map on very tired Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, daily quizzes and battles with very tired Pokemon every day. 
And here I am, pouring my heart out to you, but I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion itself has set the bit of sudden interruption. Is this the champion showing his love? By giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger Parker? I guess they go to battle anyway. My will hasn't been broken yet. Fine, I'll beat you up and you'll retire as a trainer. Yay, everyone's happy in that. We face too much to quit now. Totally still to win. Oh, I'm not gonna let you win though. Dang. <laughs> I knew it was the risk, but dang it. I should have just kept Cooper in. Oh well. Rip likes the deal. Cause I thought Rabbit Ash should do a fire type move, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I know, cause I never seen a uh, Galarin Rabbit Ash. What's with the calm expression? Think you're going to win? Yeah. <laughs> Going all out to China Max. Let's go, Hubert. We'll show you truly great paint. It's time for a dear Hazard to kick out to Max. Surprise? Impressive. But you'll be down on the next turn. Oh, oh, back there! <laughs> we survived! Let's go, Huber, one more time. 
<laughs> wow, you can use a four star. Wow. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. Um, wow. How optimistic of you. Well, I lost. It looks like Charger Beta was no match for Charger Parker and a trusted team. Hey Beta, that was no match. Don't retire, just restart a career. But, but, this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. He just keep messing up my plans. Sorry, my voice died. You just keep messing up my plans. Whenever I cheer me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as a fairy type gym leader. Deep down, I think you really like Pokemon and training fairy types, Beto. Though I suppose the way it us, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on these two young traders. Now, Charger Parker, please head back to the locker room so you can rest up from that unexpected match. Which broke the rules, but we just let it slide because, you know, it's Pokemon. Rather surprising for Charger Village to charge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head to the pitch. The finals are about to begin. The time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face uh, each other in the first battle of the first round are... A train endorsed by the champion himself, Charger Parker. Her opponent is... The Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. I can tell you're going far stronger since you're facing the whole Burry Stadium. I got to hand it over to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and will never become the champion either. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Cyanarx to wash you out to see and beyond the horizon. Ooh, the music changed! I might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. Oh, you meant just the exit. Yeah, it does have that ability. I think I'll keep Hubert in. And then I think I'll like switch out to um Dorothea later. Nice crit. This music thing is kind of underwhelming compared to the gym battle thing though. <laughs> oh well.
stop there at the end. I'm down to one octopus, and I have to save it a best for last. Yep. Here we go. Let's just stand, make our ocean. Try it off. Time to get to max. You got to max. Whoa, <laughs> that's so adorable. <laughs> Look at his tiny arms, like this. <laughs> Alright, let's go, Dorothea. Probably having our searching might. It's no wonder that you won. And the winner is Parker! She defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now pulled it off again! You know Pokemon are just too much. Even with my dynamic partner, he wetted our ways and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonia was saying something about how amazing. I wish I paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Galar's got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you got to ride that car all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. These are the results of the first round. Well, Ryan won, Pierce won, Alistair won. Huh. Interesting. Alright, continuing on to fight Alistair. Ladies and gentlemen, we've already we're ready at the second match of the finals. Of the four remaining challengers, which two will be led for the last match? If we're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this year's at this year's challenge champion cup. As the former gym challenger bit his storm to stage, but Parker was having none of it. Yep. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before challenge washing away gym leader Neza. And now to take her on, here comes gym leader Alistair, the boy known far as wide as the science glory star. Sir, you look well. 
I remember you. You were the strongest gym challenger I had. Er, uh, so I reckon, uh, we should, should battle. Alright. Alright, here we go again. Ooh, a dust door. Whenever I see Dust Snore, I just get reminded of this Dust Snore from... Oh, everyone's looking. I want to hide, but I'll fight. Yeah, whenever I see Dust Snore, I get reminded of the Dust Snore from... Uh, it stores the Sky, Mystery Dungeon. That's such a good game. I like that game. Let's go, Ingrid! Whoa, I can learn Earthquake? Nice. Can't stall me forever. Just these sucker punch them spinning out in grid. Oh well. You know, I just gotta wait for the toxic to get this guy. <laughs> Cause honestly, he's just stalling. He's just raising his special defense while restoring his health, so I'll just wait for the toxic to take effect and I'll just like heal my Pokemon. <laughs> You're stalling, so I'll be stalling too. Alright. Toxic had its effect on it. Finally, onto the last Pokemon. My very odd Pokemon. How lonely. How frightening. That's 
Go, Mario! This is a rematch against the Gengar, isn't it, Mario? But we're gonna beat him next time. <laughs> Gengar, you can't smack. Solve everything in darkness. Oh, he has a little Kursla strap on his back. <laughs> I didn't notice. That's a nice detail. Let's go, Mario. Let's go, one more time! You did it! Good job, Mario! I'm asked, me from seeing just how strong you really are. Charger Parker has done it again! What a performance! She sails right through! Crumbs. That was ace. G give me your best out there. I'm mad about strong trainers. Our swimming girl, Sopo Charger, is headed for the final round, but who will she meet there? Will it be? I passed on Dynamax Imperius or the Dragon Lord himself, right on. The next match will decide it, so don't go far from his face. I kinda want Pierce to win, but I guess Ryan won anyway. Oh well. Whoa! Contender Ryan Glorious has defeated Contender Pierce. I wonder what happens if Pierce Dynamaxes. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing away in here. Sorry, Parker! I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Raihan. It looks so sloppy out there that people are gonna think we're both weak because they're related. You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Parker. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Ryan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. I wonder if we're gonna have to do a double battle again. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who earned their the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brand rising star challenger partner? Or will be the only trainer the champion Leon calls his rival? The Tamer Dragon's right on! You're really something else, kid. You made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chose you. So I got the first crew I'm better than you find to beat him. I've reworked my whole team, so now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Ryan you face during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Okay, guess we're not doing double battles anymore. I like the rotation battles that was in Gen 5. I, I thought those were fun. Oh, a Torpoil! Interesting! I think I'll change to Mario. Oh. Water type moves will be weak during this kind of weather, but okay, let's send out Ingrid then. I can use Earthquake.
look, it's the Booker Dragon. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Here comes the rain. Feels cold down the silk into your body. Hey, it's just the rain, man. <laughs> I would rather take the rain than the sandstorm that you uh, recently did. Ooh, surf! Ooh, Nice crit. <laughs> Alright, with the rain going, water type moons are powered up, so I'll send him on my own and take out his personator. And Alistair was much of a more scary contender than Ryan, not gonna lie. <laughs> you do realize that the great Ryan Allen, right? I'll be the one to be Lion Leon, so first I'll be you. Alright, let's go, Raya. <laughs> Bring the storm, my partner will start up in the stadium flying! Sorry, my voice died! <laughs> like, my voice is so squeak. <laughs> Let's go, Raya! Oh boy, <laughs> this guy is faster than me, so he's probably gonna take out Rhea in one hit. Oh boy, I think maybe I should switch out. Oh boy! Seriously? You just switched? No, Ingrid! No! <laughs> oh my god! We did it! <laughs> that was so annoying! <laughs> This thing of fire is pretty rough, but I suppose I better take a quick shot to remember it by. Yeah, go ahead, take a selfie. 
Charger Progress Season Victory! My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just flew right past us, beyond anything I imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum, prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 274, Challenger Parker has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed her. This is the result of the final round, in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> Alright, the big mole is finally here, eh? Right? I can't just cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy taking sides. After all, it's a showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Bye, ass! Right, you reckon I should cheer for Parker too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. Postwick. So it better be Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. The tents still air on the pitch, and the exact opposite for the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose after all. I can feel you with fear knowing that, but I also love pushing past the fear. I love giving everything I got as a trainer seeing my team give everything they got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside your Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time! I'm the Gaia Regents champion, Leon. Me and Charizard, and all the rest of our team, will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Watch you get interrupted by Rose. <laughs> Wait, hold on! Hey, look at the monitor! What's that on the big screen? I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was going to interrupt it. Hello there, Leon and Parker. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. For the sake of our future, of course. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released for the darkest day is too much for us to contain. What's up? <laughs> I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Welp. Lee! Parker! That video stream, that was for Hamalak Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he was saying yesterday, they really put his trade stunt to solve some... Problem a thousand years in the future? I gotta go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before he came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. It's the real champion time! Billy, you're terrible at directions! Let me get lost along the way! I want to help my brother, Parker. I've got to. But I can't even manage to be you, so what sort of help could I ever be? You can help. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The channel was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark once, ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean he's bringing that about? And where did he even hear that name? Back in Most Oak? The statue to hear in Most Oak. Sony said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the Sword and Shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere though, right? We should try to find him, Parker, but where to start looking? Back in the slumbering wheels. 
That's it, Parker. I'm sure it's gotta be the stubborn whales. The illusion he tried to find out that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that was supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the stubborn whales. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Huh? Parker and Hall? Ah, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Haven't you been watching news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The chairman saw to that. To send you the entire region to stay to Havok. Huh? What? What happened while well, I was researching things on Slumbering Wales? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hamrock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's throwing everything in disarray. Still, I'm not sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Gower region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Parker? Uh, search for the shield Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. They may be just what we need to beat back the black storm. Okay, here, take this. You should head to the Sunburn Wheel. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's bothering me. Thanks! <laughs> you just gave me so much revive. Automatic that you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. Thanks, Mom. Ready for this, Parker? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it'll bother us now. We both grown a little stronger and still have our Pokemon. Going to the forest after Wulu that day. That's the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty re legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tail. Okay, guys. This is where I'll end part 13 of Pokemon Shield. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.